Coin6 News. We have a story about a man who survived a tour in Iraq, only to, that he almost died back here in the States. We're hearing from a good Samaritan who tried to break up a fight Halloween night, but wound up getting stabbed in the chest. It's a story the Gresham man tells me he's kind of embarrassed to share because now he needs your help. Was some of the best times of my life. Kevin Johnson, the guardsman, fired cannons in Iraq. That's probably the the funnest job that you can have in the military. Back home, he's a tile setter by trade, but the 29-year-old hasn't worked in weeks. All my buddies are, hey, aren't you in pain? I said, yeah, but it's kind of a blessing to be in pain. Kevin says he's lucky to be alive after he tried to break up a fight Halloween night between a couple near 92nd and Clinton in southeast Portland. We just never expected it to go the way that it did. Kevin and his friend heard a woman screaming and asked the stranger if she was okay. He tried to take a picture of the car the two were in, but police say the guy got out and stabbed Kevin. So I reach underneath and I grab out my hand and I see my palm is just blood soaked. I'm like, yep, this is pretty bad. Kevin ran away and called 911, and so did the suspect, Lamont Hayes Jr. But police caught him in Vancouver a couple days later, and we found out Hayes has a lengthy criminal history. It was very relieving to know that they caught him. But now it's Kevin who's trapped at home after seven days in the hospital on several medications and no insurance to cover it. It sucks, but at the same time, it's, you know, I'm alive. A positive attitude can't pay medical bills, so Kevin hopes strangers can come through like he did. Just don't call him a hero. Man, that's not heroic stuff. That's just human stuff. Such a nice kid there. Kevin's hospital bill topped $100,000. We have information on coin.com to his GoFundMe account. If you'd like to read more about a story or maybe to just help out. As for the suspect in this case, Hayes, he'll be extradited to Oregon soon, and he's facing an attempted murder charge.